Good night, John Boy. Yeah, that was a phrase made famous by, you guessed it, the Waltons. The entire cast, including Mary McDonough, known as Aaron, <laughs> made the Waltons a timeless series that centered around rural Virginia community during the Great Depression and World War II. And it's so exciting to have you here. Nice to Thank meet you. Thank you for having me. It's so good to be here. Can I share our secret? Yes. She just moved here. So I did. she's at Denver right now. I am. And you moved from Orange County? Uh huh. Wow, how do you like Colorado so far? Uh, we love it. It's going to be hard it. to move away ever. Now that we have you, we're going to keep you. I don't know that we you. will. <laughs> I don't know that we will. We're here. So let's start with the Waltons. Where did it all begin? How old were you? I was 10. And the Waltons, the, the homecoming came first, the Christmas story. And it was my very first audition ever. And I got it. Wow. Yeah. And Talk then, about a blessing. Yeah. My dad always said it was like buying your first ticket to the Irish sweepstakes and winning. <laughs> so it was. It went on, the staying power for the Waltons. I mean, it went on for, what, 10 years? It's still going on. Yeah, it's on the Homer Channel, right? Homer Channel and INSP. It's, uh, it's everywhere. And, uh, but we did, you know, we did, nine, we did the pilot, and then we did the homecoming, and we did nine seasons, and then we did movies of the week, and then we came back years later, did more movies of the week. And it's still on today. Why did you get picked for the show? Is there, I mean, your hair? Yes, that hair, really? my hair. Well, I think I looked like um, Audrey Hamner, Earl Hamner's real life sister. And um, we all had to have red hair. Look at you. <laughs> so Beautiful. there it is. The freckles, the red hair. That was it. You are at, I mean, you're still gorgeous. But oh. right there, what a face. That is a face made for TV. It wouldn't have been the Waltons if it wasn't for you. You had such a big part oh, in that thank cast. thank you. Thank yeah, you. And I was a lucky girl. Very blessed to be on it, let me tell you. Are you still in touch with the cast? Everyone. Really? Oh, actually, Eric, who has been came here for spring break to visit us at our new place with his family. And I saw Cami last weekend at a Cherry Blossom Festival. And uh, we all are very, very close. Look at that picture. Yes. When you look at that picture, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? What do you think? I got the store and trying to line up on that really small little, uh, little <laughs> fence. But um, it just makes my heart sing because they're my family. And I just really felt like I was Cammie's big sister yeah. and Judy's little sister. And, and I feel really, really lucky. We have another picture I want to show you and kind of explain what's going on in this picture with oh, a beautiful fawn. Yes, that's Erin with the um, story called The Fawn. And she adopts this deer and calls him Lancelot. And then she has to let him go into the wild at the end. It's a very big decision. Uh -huh. Grandpa helps her with it, oh, by the way. Grandpa Walton. <laughs> yes. You had a completely different life than most kids. What was that like for you? Did you have to <sighs> leave school? Did I you, did. You were homeschooled? Oh, I wasn't homeschooled. We, they didn't really do that back okay. then. What happened was I was in my little school, and one day we came in and picked up my books, and, and I left school, and I plopped down and left my family and went into the Walton family, <laughs> and then I, I rarely saw my own siblings, and uh, the rest is history. This had so much to do with your career, and now you're an author. Yes. You have a couple books here. I There's do. one that's coming out today. Today. Oh, today's the big launch day. Today's the big launch. This, you know what's so cool is not only is she a Denverite, but she chose Colorado and Company for her very first interview it's for this book. It's my very first TV show. Tell me about One Year. So One Year is about an Irish-American family that lives in a small town in Virginia. And it's really about women getting along. There's a very strong matriarch um, and then her daughters-in-law have to try and deal with being married into this family, you know, and anybody knows who's been part of an Irish family, a German family, a Jewish family, a Italian family, yeah. when you have that strong female figure. And I always, my books are always about learning and lessons and people communicating and how do we learn to get along and women support each other instead of tear each other down. Oh, empowerment. Yes, I believe all that. about that. Isn't that like a new, wow, what a great idea, women helping other women mm -hmm. to get along in this world. Mm -hmm. I'm it's, glad you wrote a book about it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it, a lot of my work is all about that in my life. So, and this is one year, is about the one year in this family. And you have a book signing that's happening this Saturday at Tattered Cover Colfax. Yes, the one in Colfax. Tattered Cover, 2 to 4 p.m. I will be there signing my new book, One Year. And Lessons from the Mountain is my first book, which is about growing up on the show. Right. So, and What's the most common book. question you get from fans when they come up and see you? Uh, they say, um, a lot of times they say, I had a crush on you. 
Yes. <laughs> it freaks my daughter out. You know, she oh. says, oh, mom, my, my professors at school tell me, oh, it's horrible. Oh, <laughs> that has to be so weird for your kids. Yes, it's very strange. But, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Would you let your children get into acting right now if they came to oh, you? Oh, that's it. Yes, I would, but I would know what to look for because I, I work with parents a lot in the industry and I was on the Screen Actors Guild um, committee to educate parents so they didn't make the same mistakes my parents did and have you know, and know what to look out for and what are the red flags. Right. And let's end with talking about the final scene of the Waltons. <laughs> when they close the lights out and they say, good night, John Boy. Good night, Aaron. Good night, Aaron. Good night Mary Ellen. Yeah. Yes. Do you ever have fond memories of that? Funny enough, I just saw it and heard the little ding, 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 and it brought tears to my eyes because it was a time where we all would gather around a microphone to film, the, to, to tape the good nights. And that is so, it's so part of American history, but it's part of my history. Who decided that it would end that way? Well, Earl Hamner created the show oh. based on his own family, and they really did that. And the writers would write the good nights based on what the lesson of the story was in the episode that week. And, and now it's iconic. Everybody, as soon as you say, good night, John Boy, yeah. everybody knows what you're talking about. <laughs> That's the other thing people always say. Yeah. Do you all get along? Do you, um, do you really know each other still? And will you say good night, John, John Boy? Boy? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, okay, here we go again. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, if I had a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to Colorado Thank and Denver. You. And we're going to have to go out to lunch. Now you're my we new are. favorite friend. <laughs> you're my new BFF. <laughs> <laughs> you can meet Mary this Saturday, May 2nd, starting at 2 p.m. at the Tattered Cover on Colfax Avenue. She's going to be there signing her latest book, One Year. She's so nice. Go check out the book. You'll love it.